From 9.20 to 11.30, you have your meetings with Mr. Haldeman, Mr. Kissinger, and Mr. Ziegler. From 12.05 to 105, you have your open hour, at the end of which we thought would be a good time to have your meeting with Mr. Presley. Elvis Presley? Yes, sir. The entertainer. Oh, I know who Elvis Presley is, yes. Who the f*** set this up? Elvis and Nixon. Completely true story. Elvis Presley was concerned about the protests against the Vietnam War, lack of respect for law enforcement. He was far more conservative than a lot of people might have suspected. So he got on a plane, wrote a six-page letter to President Richard Nixon, showed up on the White House gates at six in the morning, asked for this letter to be given to the President of the United States, and then went to a hotel until he was going to successfully get a meeting with the President. Which I never thought we would get there. He always did. I, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. And what he actually wanted was for the President of the United States to make him an undercover federal agent at large. He would also like a badge. A what? I could infiltrate the communists, and then I'd bust them all. Let's do this thing. But what I liked about this script is that it took a very isolated incident and found a way to show you so much about who Elvis was. Elvis just wakes up one day, decides he wants to go to the White House to get a federal uh, badge to fight narcotics. Fine, bring him in. And this famous coming together happened in which a very famous photograph was taken, and it is, in fact, the single most requested photograph in the National Archives. Okay, sir, do you have any firearms or weapons of any kind on your person? It's a good thing they didn't catch this little fella in my boot. There is a, a series of things that Elvis is, uh, is told he should not do. On the coffee table is a dish with M&Ms. Those are only for the president. And then he basically breaks every one of those rules because, you know, he's Elvis Presley. M&Ms are my favorite. Mine, too. Kevin Spacey is, is a force. There is no doubt about that. He was an amazing Nixon. The character that Colin plays is one of our advisors, so he was on set. And I'll never forget the day he arrived and literally grabbed his chest because he said it, it was as if Richard Nixon had walked back in the room. Not to mention Alex Pettifer, who plays me. He has so much love for Elvis. All the insight that he had to give me was just through the stories he would tell. I like that. That's good. The chance to work with Michael Shannon, who is just a consummate actor who became a so Elvis-like. I tried to make sure I didn't get too caught up in the impersonation and that I devoted as much energy to contemplating what was going on inside of him as I did to trying to seem like him on the outside. Uh, he just killed me a couple of times. Don't slap him. Come on, harder. Carter, let it out. Let it out. Those are the steel claws of a tiger, Mr. President. I don't think this is like an Elvis anyone's seen before. It's not a let's make fun of Elvis and Nixon. It's just have fun with Elvis and Nixon. They began to realize that they were far more aligned than they could have imagined. You and me, we rose from nothing. But look where I am today. Look where you are. That's half the fun, too, is watching how that develops. Ultimately, think you wind up finding out more about him through this story than you would if someone tried to tell you his entire life story. It's just so crazy. But that's that's the fun of the of the ride. Thank you. Thank you very much.